guys, hey 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 guys, This is Vaughn, and welcome back to another episode of The Sims 2 Fishing Survival. And we are here with Mango, who has been fishing since last episode. I am back from PAX Prime, and I am primed to fish. Lindsay's over here, jamming out. Mike just woke up and has to pee. We'll let him take care of himself for a little bit. And Baby Almond is on the computer. Now, the first thing I want to do is, last episode, or at least in some episode, it was maybe two episodes ago, someone, 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 I think it was Winter, maybe, said there was a light in front of Mango, or in front of Almond's door. Indeed, there is a light, which is making the door always be open. So, uh, we, we need to move that light. We need to uh, figure out how to move. Why you know? Oh, it's because we're upstairs. Grab this light. Let's move it over one. And that should let the door close. Does that close the door? Yeah. Thank you. Now, I don't know if that's going to stop people from... Uh, they, they like to go out his door weirdly instead of using, like, normal pathways. But the house is kind of like a weirdly built house. So I guess I can kind of... Uh, hello, nurse! Hi, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. So, PAX Prime was freaking awesome. Uh, as usual, I had more fun hanging out with my buddies than I did actually doing anything at the specifically at the convention. I did not intend a single panel. I did walk into one of the League of Legends rooms once. Not that I know anything about League of Legends other than that it is a game and some of my friends play it. Uh, let's see, Lindsay, your children are hungry. Why don't you... Look at you! Holy crap, man. You need to... Stop jamming, serve dinner, make some spaghetti. Oh my goodness, Mike. Maka, 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 maka. Maka, 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 maka. Oh, they are out of groceries. Have I ordered groceries? Is that possibly a thing that I did last episode? I'm going to guess that I did not. So, Mike, your new job is to order groceries. Should you choose to accept? In the meantime, let's see if there's some leftovers that we can get. But yeah, I did not attend a single panel. Uh, which is not surprising, because I very rarely actually manage to make it to panels when I go to conventions. But it is still kind of weird that, you know, you spend all of this money going to these conventions, and then you never actually do anything at them. Like, why did I spend all of this money? It was $30 a day. Uh, but, I mean, I did have $30 a day worth of, like, fun at the convention. One of the days we went and played... Cards Against Humanity in one of the tabletop gaming rooms, which was pretty cool. Um, I'm going to talk about my experience at PAX a lot more in depth, probably in my Red Cube server series uh, on a, a Minecraft server, which is kind of like my main channel event thing. So I don't want to talk about it too... That kid is... Oh man, that is not your bed! Now somebody else told me about the mod that you can get that'll force the kids to like or the sims to sleep in the right beds and and i've heard of that mod and i could get it but i don't really particularly want to just it seems a bit unnecessary okay mango is done there let's put him to bed somebody else asked if mango is gay um i don't know that he's actually gay i mean sims can be whatever gender you want but i think that he, when he grew up, when he was born, he was he dressed in pink and kind of grew up into some pretty looking clothing. So I was teasing that he's gay. Um, if he ends up being the heir, the heir, the heir, the heir to the family, I'll probably make him marry a woman just because it's easier that way. Although if you guys really want him to hook up with a dude, I'm totally fine with that as well. It's just easier when it comes to uh, having kids for them to be. You know what, Mike? Why don't you fish Sparkle Spinner? Just a little easier. What, Lindsay is just laying here like a boss. It's just a little bit easier then. Okay, why are you laying here? Why don't you, like, sleep? You're so tired. Go to bed. There you go. It wasn't so hard, was it? All right, well, they're, they're all napping and fishing, so I'm going to fast forward a little bit, and I will bring you back, I guess, when Mike goes to bed or Lindsay wakes up or something interesting happens. Good morning, family! It is morning, and all of the people are awake. Mike is still out here fishing. His hunger and hygiene are a little bit low, but that's nothing nothing to worry about. She has got to pee and shower. I'm going to make her pee first. Where's the toilet? So last episode, we built the secret room of Mike's things. So that is what that room is, in case you're new and joining us. 
Uh, this is a fishing survival. So everything that is you see in this house was made, was purchased solely by Mike. Mike is the guy fishing right now, by Mike Fishing. So I've never had any job, I've never sold any paintings, I've never done anything like that. All of the all of the things here have been achieved just for, by selling fish. And if you want to see what I mean, Mike is out there fishing. Let's check out his inventory right now. Look at all these fish he's got. Five of those, seven of those, one of those, three of those, three of those, and one of those. So we've got $19,000 in the bank, plus this house that we've built uh, from scratch. If you watch episode one, you will see that he starts with zero money, and he has to fish and dig uh, crap, dig bones and rocks and stuff to survive. And he's come a very, very long way. He looks great. Uh, let's see if Lindsay can trim these bushes. We might want to do a little landscaping. I don't know what else we might need. We've still got... We could build a second story. We could build a back room here. I do feel like they could use, like, one... one another big room back here. I don't know. Uh, if you guys have ideas, though, for sure let me know. I could make some fruit trees. We could put a pool in. Ooh, a pool might be fun, actually. Kind of weird to have a pool when you've got this giant lake, but sadly, Sims... Hello. Hello, Almond. You're... you're... <laughs> Stop! Uh, you want to jump rope. Why don't you jump rope? So while I was at PAX, PAX Prime, I released a new series called Last Man, a new Sims 2 series called Last Man that actually... <laughs> look, he wants to be best friends with Spoon. She's from my other series, um, the Ugly Gardening Sim Challenge. She's the daughter there. <laughs> so funny. But yeah, while I, was, while I was at PAX, I released a new series called... Uh, Last Man Standing, and it was a lot of fun. It was a Survivor series. I think the first three or four episodes have gone up by now, and you guys seem to really like it. Uh, I also released, while I was away, uh, a seri a new Minecraft map called Chronotide, which I was playing with Good Boulderfist from the Minecraft server. He's the guy that created the Minecraft server, and he has become a friend of mine via some conventions and just general similar-minded stuff. And he agreed to play that map with me while we were at PAX so we could have some nice content to go up on our channels while we were away. And ironically, uh, despite the fact that Good has over 300,000 subscribers, my Sims 2 Last Man series is actually doing better than, <laughs> than my Chronotide videos. Uh, which makes some sense because I think most people are watching, you know, we both played the same map and both recorded, so most people I think are watching the episode on Gooch's channel versus my own. No, I don't want to hang out with you. But, at the same time, it's still kind of like, wow, my Sims series is doing better than the series with Gooch? That's crazy! And my Red Cube stuff is doing pretty well too, so I'm feeling pretty good. PAX was a lot of fun. Got a lot of good video and content, and if I can record it, or finish getting it all up on my channel, uh, Vegas wants to keep... Vegas is the program that I use, Sony Vegas, to edit my videos, uh, and it keeps crashing with the really large, high-quality files that my camera puts out, so my laptop is a little lame. Let's see, let's talk about hobby cuisine. Anyway, I don't know how much you guys want to listen to that, and we are we are doing good, though. Mike just went to bed. He probably needs to wake up eventually. Uh, the, the end goal for this series is for Mike to get 20 best friends. Oh, he is that rolled over? Has he gotten it? Has he gotten his 20 best friends? I don't think he has, because if he had, his lifetime would have platinumed out. So he's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 there. That's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. He's got 17 best friends. No, 18, 19, 20. He does have 20 best friends. Wait, what? Some of these must not count as best friends. Doesn't this count as best friends? Yes, they're best friends forever. So that's three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. His kids must not count or something. So let's see who he should call next to be friend. It looks like it's going to be Nathan Custer. And of course, Pepper the Puppy. Pepper the Puppy is who we've got locked here. Pepper joins the family. That's not part of the, the challenge, but she's such a cute little puppy. She needs to come live with us. Where are you two going? Hello, kids. 
Um, Mango, I think Mango actually got the lamp, the genie lamp. Oh, and I'm not letting him sell any of these fish until he's an adult, because right now I only want Mike to get the money. Okay, he's got all the baby stuff. Did the lamp come to this house? Am I, did I just hallucinate that? She's got a bunch of stuff. She's got lamps on her. She's got all sorts of crazy stuff. Maybe I just hallucinated that lamp. I don't know. I thought I... I thought the lamp came to him, but apparently not. Maybe it came to Wallet's family. But yeah, eventually I will get... Eventually Mango will become the heir of the family. Let's see, he wants to get level 5 cleaning. Uh, I thought about sending him to school, to college, but I think for the purpose of this challenge, that doesn't really make a lot of sense. Mike is awake! Go call Nathan. Call... Oh, wait, you've got a cell phone on you, so I can just click you. No, don't go do that. Whatever you're doing, don't do that. Okay, fine, do it. Fine. Since you've already taken it out, go ahead and make pork chops. Do you even have hunger? Do you even have cooking skill abilities? Oh, yeah, you should be fine. All right, Mike. You match the kitchen, actually. You kind of got, like, the pink and white colors. All right, fine, fine, fine. Lindsay, you could join him. Actually, Lindsay, you should pee. Oh, I don't like this room. Kind of blocks me from getting touching the toilet. Give me the toilet. Toilet use. But yeah, the Last Man series is a lot of fun. If you haven't seen that, check it out. It's a pretty short series. I think it's only five or six episodes long. And each episode is only like, I think, 20 minutes long. So it's like a really quick... It's like less than two hours to watch the whole series, I think. And that's nice to have like a quick little funny series to watch so that if you don't want to... I mean, this is like episode, I don't know, like 50 or something of... A Sim series? Let's see. Call Sim. Yeah, we'll call Nathan. And I mean, I like having a series that I can record and... It, it, you know, it's it doesn't end. It's it's It could last as long as I want. I will eventually end it because I think it doesn't need to last forever. Okay, you're good. Go eat. How's Alden doing? Alden's fine sleeping. Lindsay, you can throw your stuff away. Okay, apparently Nathan... Put away left... Oh, you're sleeping. Sorry, you have to wake up now. Why did you not talk to Nathan longer? It's probably because your social is so freaking high. I swear I need to find some, like, way to drain your social. I'm sure there is some way. I'm just not sure what it is. But I really want you to talk to Nathan. Hey, you know what you could do? You go to sleep. Uh, you go potty. Oh, no, don't start with that now. Don't start with that now. Email, you can e- <laughs> He just like, oh, oh. <laughs> You can email, no, 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 Nathan. Nathan. Chit chat, chit chat, chit chat, chit chat. But yeah, my channel is doing well, and it's all thanks to you guys. You guys are awesome. You are so awesome. I really, it really makes me excited and happy to have a series other than Minecraft that's doing really well. Because I really, really enjoy playing The Sims. The Sims is awesomely limitless, just like Minecraft. It is everything that you make of it. And so I have a lot of fun playing it in a way that I don't necessarily have fun playing a lot of other kind of more linear games. Although I do enjoy some linear games as well, so don't don't think that I don't. Uh, but it's really cool to just know that people... Basically, The Sims is like me being a derp, playing around, talking, babbling, and somehow you guys still enjoy it. While these people punch each other on the arms. Did you, uh, Did you make friends with him? Are you friends with my, with, with, what's his face yet? No. You should be, though. Uh, why don't you check your email? I check my email. I hope it's from a female. Oh, you got one back from him. Are you best friends yet? I don't, oh, you just broke the computer. Good job. Good job. I don't think that I've ever had someone become best friends via emailing. I wonder if that's even possible. See, I've played this game so much, and I still don't even know. Let's call service. Let's repair the computer. I could make Mike do it. Uh, Mike has pretty much served his purpose at this point. I've decided that I will let him get old and die. Oh, oh. Um. Yes. He has reached platinum, but yeah, he still needs to get his 20s, 20s. Did that happen and I just didn't see it somehow? I don't think it's happened because I think if it had happened, he would be lifetime platinum. So... I'm surprised that that hasn't rolled over to have it show up yet. But his family just must not be 
included in the lifetime best friend thing. I'm a bob, I'm a jig, I'm a thing. This child is awake. Why are you awake? It is two in the morning. Go eat your pork chops. Oh, Mike. Yeah, so we do need to focus on Mango a little bit. Mango is going to be the heir. Once Mike dies, which will happen, he will eventually die of old age. Uh, and that can happen. What are you doing? Stop it. Stop being a derp. Go, you know, if you're going to be obnoxious, go fish. Go fish. Leave your child alone. But yeah, Mango is eventually going to be the heir. And so we need to find him a future mate. She's cute. What's her name? Dene? Denene? Denine? Denini? Denene? Denene. Denene. Denene Mendoza. Um, you and your voice, man. Yeah, we need to find him a future, a future partner in crime. What are his turn-ons? I, I roll for all of their, their turn-ons. So he likes jewelry and cleaning. So both of those things we can do. And his turn-off is black hair. So pretty much anyone will work as long as he's got high chemistry with them. So we can probably do what we did with my, with, uh, yeah, with Mike. And we can call, maybe we could even do that. Maybe in the next episode we'll do that. We'll call the matchmaker over and we'll pay the $5,000 fee in order to get him a perfect soulmate. Okay, go play with your brother. Uh, you want to ice skate? There's not an ice skating rink. It's not going to happen. I'm sorry. Where are you going? Show off. <laughs> oh, no. The game is borking itself. Uh, children. Okay, you know what? You go use the toilet. Wow. Uh, why don't you practice some logic? You, you're hungry a little bit, but mostly you, it's, it's Sunday morning. Like, I guess, I guess you're fine. Lindsay just woke up. Why don't you get some food that you made last night? Mike, now that the sun is pretty much coming up, why don't you eat some pancakes with your wife? Have you ever refrigerated pancakes and then eaten them? Is that good? I'm not much of a pancake person myself, ever, but I have to feel, I feel like reheated pancakes would be like especially disgusting. All right, yes, you go shower. Mike, now that you are awake, you, Mike, let me touch this phone. Call Sim. It is time to befriend Nathan. You must become the bestest of friendses. Do it. Do it now. Talking about film is great. Where's your, where's your friend? There he is. You're at 54. Come on. Be best friends. Be best friends. Be best friends. God dang it! Call him back. Call Sim. I can hear the... Uh, uh, oomph, oomph, oomph. Somebody's jaminating. Jaminating! Just talk. Be best friends. Be best friends. Best friends. Be. Become best friends. Talk about more than just stupid stuff. If you don't become best friends, I'm going to invite him over. And he will... Dang it, man! Call Sim. We're gonna invite him over. Oh, there's the repairman. Ooh, dude, he looks like a, a mean dude. One mean old dude, like a, a, an extra army drill sergeant or something. Uh, invite over. Get your buddy over here. And who else do we want to invite over? Who else is close? You, Justin, just Justice, Sim. Stop trying to clean, Mike. Uh-huh. Oh, Lindsay. Oh, Lindsay, you. Oh, you're not here. Fine. Whatever. Lindsay, you need to go do something else. Be more productive with your life. You're driving me nuts right now. Driving me nuts, woman. You're driving me nuts. Hmm. Well, I don't feel like a whole lot has happened this episode. I apologize for that, but we are just maintaining and and continuing on, continuing on as as you do. Everything is just, you know gotta maintain i guess i talked about packs that's good where are you doing where are you going buddy who's seriously who does that why would you ring the doorbell and then walk away stop where are you going did you just leave the frick why would you do that oh man I'm never gonna finish this dang game anyway thank you guys as always for watching my name is vaughn and i will see you next time bye we're calling nathan again Bye!